Yep. Welcome wrestling fans, it is Wrestling Revolution Keen here, here with a very special guest, Steve Savage! Thanks for having me, tell me. How'd you first get into wrestling? How'd I first get into wrestling? Um, I was a kid, teenager, grew up wrestling fan, massive wrestling fan. Um, I found a school in Bray, County Wicklow, I'm sure everyone is a quite notorious school right now. I used to attend seminars there, I used to travel from Limerick to Bray, get my training in. Um, from there, I've always wanted to keep consistent with wrestling, with wrestling. But my life, as many people's lives, take certain different avenues. Mine brought me down a different career path for quite some years. Uh, and in my mid-twenties, I found my way back into wrestling, and I've been wrestling ever since. So, uh, what's your best moment in wrestling? My best moment in wrestling? Um, I've had a few. One of my, my, my best moments is probably my first time wrestling in front of my friends and family in Limerick, in Limerick City. Probably one of my best moments. One, one, one that means a lot to me. Uh, what's your favourite tattoo? My favourite tattoo? <laughs> Jesus. Not one I can pinpoint right now. This one, it's just family. Family is very important to me. Um, every time I get to travel, I travel quite a bit with wrestling these days, so it's always important for me to make sure I call home, make sure everyone's all right, everyone's supporting me from, from a distance, but yeah, family is most important to me. What's the best promotion you work for? All promotions. Um, I mean, I mean, we have little goals, as wrestlers, we have little goals of promotion that we'd like to get to and touch at. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky enough I've had to work for promotions that I wanted to work for. Um, guys have been very good, you know. My big thing with, with wrestling, as far as promotion wise, I'm not so big on it. Like, there's certain people I want to work for, but as a whole, I would like Irish wrestling to be. Like, we, we all work together. I'm up here working with guys for, from Lion's Den today because I want to see these guys progress, and vice versa. I want to bring my hard knocks guys around the place. I'm sure there's lots of different schools that are touching base with different um, companies. It's all to progress just wrestling in general. Uh, what's your favorite title you've had? I've only had one. Oh. I've had it for too long. I had to hand it back. <laughs> um, I, was in there, I was a capital champion for over over a year, which is my first British title. So I got, I got to travel around Britain for the, all of last year um, defending this, which is a, a great... Um, a great experience for me as a wrestler. Who's the best best person to work with in wrestling? The best person to work with in wrestling is someone that wants to pass on their experience. That's the best person you can work with in wrestling. Someone that's open to helping who they're wrestling. You know, and I, as far as best athletic wise or look wise, I'm, I can't. I, nothing's sticking out to me, but. The best person you can work with is someone that wants to get back to wrestling. That's how it is. That's, that's, that, that will always be the most important. Uh, what's the funniest, funniest moment you've had in wrestling? Oh. Do you have any funny stories? Yeah, I do have one funny story. Um, I was rushing for a show, a pretty big show. I rushed, I was late, Mr. Train, Mr. Bus. I felt I should not be on this show. Um, my keys to my gym that morning were not in my, I've lost my keys to my gym. All my wrestling gear is in my gym. So I've had to scavenge some wrestling gear quickly. Miss the boss, miss the train. Had to get to the venue and just as I was about to go out, just as I was about to go out, I realized I had not put my wrestling trunks on. <laughs> that could have been a very scary moment. You know? I had briefs on, but my wrestling trunks were not on me and I nearly walked out in front of 500 people in just a pair of briefs. First, what's uh, the, the biggest the, the biggest wrestling promotion you work for? Um, as far as you, in Ireland, um, would be OTT, which would be one of the biggest yeah. in Europe. Like you know? all, like all the um, yeah, probably OTT. Uh, OTT are probably one of the biggest promotions in all of Europe at the moment. They have massive online presence, massive traction. Um, I'm fortunate enough I get to work in the States this summer, um, so I'm hoping to kind of pick up and work with a few different promotions over there as well. And, um, who do you think is the, the, the uh, up-and-coming wrestler, like over 16? The most up-and-coming wrestler? Over 16. Over 16? 
or, or, or I could be, uh, or, sorry, over 10. Over 10? Am I supposed to say you? No, I'm not over 10. <laughs> uh, I don't know, you have to fill me in on these, on these wrestlers. I'm, or maybe I'm going to have to keep an eye out for um, these up and comers and see maybe we might have people down Limerick side or Hard Knock side somewhere in the, um, in the future. You have, you'd have to keep me up to date. What are you planning to do in your career now? In my, so, where I'm at, I'm, I'm quite open about this. In my career, where I'm at now, I'm very content in what I've done in wrestling. You know, I, I got back into wrestling in my mid 20s. Um, with a small goal, and a small goal became a little bit bigger, and a little bit bigger, and a little bit bigger, and, little bit bigger. and, I, and I've got to reach those goals that I wanted to meet personally. Um, my goal in wrestling now is, is to literally give back to Irish wrestling and help Irish wrestlers um, by providing a training school in Limerick, which is the only training school that side of the country. Um, there's a massive gap in between Limerick and Dublin and Belfast or so. So for me to provide um, a space where guys can train this side of the country that that my goal in wrestling is to progress them um, wrestlers this side of the country what, uh, what advice would you give young trainees like me young trainees be passionate be really really passionate um a lot of us a lot of people want to get into wrestling because it's a it's a unique thing but if you're passionate about it, don't ever be afraid to show someone you're passionate. Don't ever be afraid to show someone that I love this. Don't ever be afraid to, because if you do that, if you if, if you are genuinely passionate and you genuinely mean that you want to be out there, the people will see that and the people will know that. So I would always say, stay passionate, stay hungry, ask questions every single day, constantly ask questions, um, and never stop learning. Never stop learning. That's my advice. Okay, thank you, Steve Savage. No problem. Appreciate it. Yep, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And hopefully, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.